In this video, I want to cover basic editing features within Microsoft Word. I'm just going to open a brand new document here. The first thing that you need to know is that as you're typing in Microsoft Word and you get towards the end, it's automatically going to wrap around the next line. So I'm going to demonstrate here. Uh, and I'm not going to use a capital letter. As soon as I hit space, it's automatically going to correct. So there is an autocorrect feature that we're going to check later on, but I just want to introduce it now. So as I type in most word processors, the words Now, I realize most of you already knew that, but I have to cover it because some people, as they get close to the end, feel compelled to hit enter, and you don't need to do that. The next thing I want you to know is show hide. I'm going to, I'm going to be asking you to use this on a regular basis. So I'm going to want you to turn this on. When you turn it on, you get all kinds of symbols that you've probably never seen before. These dots between the words, those symbolize that you used space. If you use space twice, I'll see two dots, and that's wrong. Okay, so you'll have a bigger gap there, and that's why. These symbolize that you've hit enter, and if you hit again, you'll end up with another space, and you hit again, you'll end up with another space. So now when you start typing, you'll have that. And if you turn your show hide off, this is what you would see. Oftentimes people, students wonder, why do I have this extra space here? I don't want that extra space here. Well, if you turn your show hide on, it tells you exactly why this came to be. Uh, so your show hide is kind of like the legend of your document and it lets you know how it came to look the way that it looks. And I'm going to ask that you turn it on and leave it on throughout this course. Uh, this way, as I'm walking about, I'm able to see that you accomplished what you were supposed to the proper way. It'll also show you tabs. And like I said, it'll show you spaces. It shows me everything. And by having it on, I'm able to see that you were able to achieve the look of the document the proper way. Some people don't know how to center, so they use tab, tab, space, space, space to make it look centered. I want to make sure that you don't do that. So please, turn your show hide on and leave it on. If you want to see how pretty your document's going to look without them, just turn it off. When you do this, it's non-printing. It will never print. All right, so if you printed this document, these things will not show up. Only this will show up. So that is your show hide, and it's critically important. I want you to get used to using it. Uh, again, this is an editing lesson, so I want you to also know how to delete things, how to move your insertion point. So this blinking thing here is called your insertion point. So whatever you type, whatever you enter, that's where it's going. You can move your insertion point by simply using your mouse and clicking in a different area. And now I've moved my insertion point to in between these two words. If I want to delete this stuff, I have two choices. I can delete going forward with my delete key. So if I put my insertion point in front of this tab, my delete key will eat going forward. So it'll eat this first tab. So we hit delete, then ate the first one. Okay, and then if I want to delete these spaces, I would put it here and I could delete and that's going to eat going forward. So that's what delete does, it eats going to the right. If you wanted to delete something going backwards, you would push your insertion point here and you would use the backspace key and that would delete things going backwards, okay? If I hit delete or backspace right now, I'm going to delete one of these two enters, which means I'm going to lose this blank paragraph, this empty space here. And it'll bring that up. So if you want more empty spaces, you would use enter more often. If you want to get rid of them, you would hit backspace or delete to delete them the same way you would delete anything else. 
Most of you, of course, are probably familiar with undo. There's also a redo. Okay, right now I don't have the redo up, uh, but you can undo the last thing you did, or you can go way back in time and undo right up until the very beginning of your document. You can't just undo one thing, okay? As this list is showing you, if you click on one, you lose everything that's yellow. So you can't just pick and choose. And if you undo and you realize you didn't want to do that, just hit redo and it'll come back to the way that you were. So those are the basic, very, very basic editing things that you need to know.